as you know, things break. <laughs> well, some break easier than others, but you get what I'm saying. Now, let's talk about the things that I found that broke. DaVinci Resolve. Well, not really break, but like, let me just share a couple of things that I found and I think you might have encountered if you've already tried DaVinci Resolve 19. So I found three, well, I experienced two of them. And the third one is one that somebody else mentioned that I have not encountered. So let's start by that one. The one that I did not encounter was the, an issue with the fonts. So I'm not sure about how you would fix that. Uh, the main thing was that they mentioned was that the fonts, I think on the text plus, I don't think it was on the normal text. I think on the text plus, they had an issue with the form, with the fonts changing automatically. Now, the only way uh, that I could think of to solve these, like as a workaround for now would be like, after you have your font selected and you don't plan on making any changes, turn your title or your text into a compound clip, rename it, and then here, just freeze frame that while the font has not changed. That way, if you freeze frame that, let me see if it actually is allowing me to do that. Uh, freeze frame that. Now this is frozen and anything that changes under or inside that shouldn't be affected. So if the font decides to change while inside that uh, compound clip, I don't think it will carry over into these compound clip that you have right here. So I think that will be a good uh, or a quick workaround for now until they fix that. All right. Now, let me tell you about this other issue that I encountered and I was... And I think you might encounter this if you use any generator of swords or maybe even effects by third parties or, or like creators, right? The easiest way to replicate these because it just happened somehow was if I copy these, we have this no frame available for media out. And the reason for that is that if I go and open this in Fusion, we have this media out here and the actual gener generator that was built already has a media out right here. So those two are sort of fighting for the spot right there. Now, what I end up doing to fix this is instead of deleting the one that's in the generator, I delete the one that shows up right here inside Fusion like that. If I go back to the edit page, the text works as if nothing was missing anymore. So that is how you could fix this no frame available for media out issue or bug that you might encounter. I have not seen this issue in previous versions, so I think it might have, it might just be just for DaVinci Resolve 19 and on. Now, the third one that I encountered was a little bit weirder because I wasn't sure, and this actually made DaVinci Resolve crash. Um, let me find the effects under generators. And I encountered these while working on, I was working on some stuff for the Purifull Effects website and just creating some previews and stuff. If I add this effect, for example, right here, by default, it's not going to have the tracking information added onto it because I took that out in the latest update of the Purifull Effects. And if you are working with an effect that has a tracker, tracking data or tracking information, if you press track, you can track backwards, but the moment I try to track forwards, these completely crashes. So let's see if it crashes on me right now or not. So let's see. Obviously it has to take a little bit because we don't have any indicator of the things working inside here. Oh, I, cl I, I clicked on, I just clicked and there we have that issue. So yeah, there is something weird with these and this only has happened on the DaVinci Resolve 19. So if you have the paper full effects and you're working on 19 and you want to track forwards, there might be a workaround, which would be going inside Fusion, opening the effect and then tracking backwards and forward with that individual button. I have not tested that out actually, but I will. And if that is the case, I'm going to have to update the, the actual tools themselves for them to work. But this is something that might happen to you if you're working with any sort of effect that has something to track, or maybe even if you try to track something in the edit page by itself. So those are the issues that I found so far in the Ventures of my team. I have not had any other major issues. I actually stacked, I think it was 42 or 36 layers of generators 
working on something for the paper for all effects website i was basically showcasing all the elements so i stacked 36 or 42 elements one on top of the other and they all had uh their animations and that didn't crash the venture resolve so on that on that end i think we're pretty good but i do have 96 gigabytes of ram so that might have done the handling for that a little bit so yeah those are the issues and some of the solutions if you have encountered any other issues that i may have missed or not encountered make sure to let me know down in the comments and if you found a solution just share it as well that way other people that have those same issues can find out a quick way to solve them that is it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye